Hi, this is Andy from the ModelRailwayEngineer.com website and today I've got a quick video for you on keeping model railway track clean. Um, dirt on model railway track, what a nightmare. Um, over time dirt and grime builds up on the rails, that interferes with the locomotives, they stop, they splutter, they stall, ruins the fun of the hobby. Uh, it's a never ending problem for model railway enthusiasts, you can't stop it, all you can do is try and keep your rails clean. Um, this is a quick video that you know, shows a very very cheap technique for doing that. I should say there are lots of other track cleaning techniques out there, there's nothing wrong with them all, they're great, uh, I use quite a few myself on my main layouts. What I like about this technique however is it's just the price, it's really really cheap. Um, all we use is some standard cleaning alcohol, that's a one litre bottle that I got from eBay for about £8 and some cheap cotton wool buds. Um, depending on the size of your layout and the, how often you run it, that will last easily for half a year to over a year. Um, as I said, it works on pretty much every type of model railway track with metal rails. Um, I'm demonstrating it here on double O, but I also use it on my N gauge and EM gauges. As I said, it will work on yeah, every gauge of model railway track. Three. Okay, let's give this tip a demonstration. Um, typical Blue Peter style. Here's some track I got earlier. Um, it's standard double O gauge track, flexi track. Got it from a boot fair. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It's just very dirty. Um, so it should be the ideal example of this technique in practice. This is a standard Hornby locomotive. Pretty new, um, nothing great. I just use it for testing and playing around with. Um, it works fine on my main layout, but on this track, as we will hopefully see, It struggles somewhat, especially on this end section. This is a classic example of dirty track. It's, it's really frustrating, very annoying, spoils the fun. You can't see it from there, but the controller's at half power, but it's just struggling. So let's try cleaning it up with this technique. So all I've got, is the cleaning fluid, isopropyl on alcohol. Um, pour some into a jar. I use a glass jar, but the lid would work fine. Take some column wool buds, standard supermarket type issue. Um, they're about 100 for a couple of quid, I believe. Dip the cotton wool bud into the fluid and run it over the rails. Um, while I'm doing this, a couple of pointers if you like. Um, one, this is alcohol, so doing it in a confined space is not a good idea. I'm in my shed at the moment, as you can probably see. Um, well, I've got ventilation. Um, if you are in a confined space, make very sure you take regular breaks or have good ventilation running windows open if you're in a spare room, for example. Um, another thing to consider is, this is alcohol, it will play havoc with paintwork on your locomotives and scenery, so I don't really care because I'm using this on doing this on the piece of spare test track. Um, but obviously, if you do it on your layout, make sure the alcohol doesn't get anywhere near the paintwork of your locomotives or scenery. It will just really make a mess of it. Uh, another pointer is I've heard some people suggest using paper towels for this. Um, I personally wouldn't do that. The paper toweling can disintegrate as you rub it over the rails and catch and you end up with paper fibers all over the place on the track um, and then they can work into the gears and wheels of your locomotives and cause you even bigger problems. So I'm not going to do this for very long, it's literally just to give you an idea. Um, you can see the dirt that's come off just that section of rails. Let's try it out and see what difference is. Even with that brief cleaning there, you can see the difference that's made. The logo is a lot happier. It's able to run up and down without any prompting. Um, that's just with a few minutes. If you spend longer on it, you'll get even better results. That's the dirt that's come off in that time. Really filthy track, um, but it serves as a demonstration for this tip. Hope this has been useful. If you want more tips, subscribe on the buttons below as normal, 
or click over to my website at modelrailwayengineer.com uh, and subscribe to my newsletter.